are you? What are you up to? Uh, I got a new movie project. A uh, duck, a uh, shark, action! It'll be even cooler than Jaws! Sam, that's an age-old story, and our camera is not designed for underwater shooting! <laughs> I wasn't going to shoot underwater. Like, so how can I create a super thriller if I can't shoot underwater? I'll never become a new Tarantino or Spielberg. Wait a moment, Mr. Director. I've got a cool idea. We can arrange underwater shooting without water. Da, 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 da. Let's go, set sail! Hi, guys. I bet you know that sometimes they don't use location filming in movies. Why didn't you tell me before I nearly drowned our camera? Well, I couldn't reveal all the secrets of filmmaking. Now is the right time. I want to make an impressive explosion. Sammy, don't blackmail me. Actually, my secret is a diorama. Right? Diorama? So simple? Uh-uh, not that simple. We'll have many stages to prepare. This one, for example. I'm going to make the sea surface using this modeling clay. There we go. Why is the sea surface on the bottom? Because first the diorama will be upside down. Later we'll set everything right. These are our future waves. See? It's like when you dive head down and then come up with your head up? Well, something like that. Now I'm making smaller waves with a special tool. Sea ripples. Carefully, move smoothly, as if you're spreading your peanut butter on a piece of bread. There! The base of the sea surface is almost ready. For the next step, we'll need our clay to set. Let's use our crafting time machine. Pop. It's set. Now let's apply some Vaseline to the surface. We're going to cover the clay with glue using our trusty hot glue gun. Vaseline will keep the layers from sticking to each other. La da, da 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 Sammy, bring me the glue gun. I'm going to need it now. Oh, that's my favorite tool, the tool of art. <laughs> yep, it's loaded with pure inspiration. <laughs> Shaping the clay was just a preparatory stage. The key figure of this part of the craft is the glue gun. Here we go. We need to cover the whole clay mold with glue. But be very careful working with this tool. The glue gun is very hot. You better ask an adult to help you with this craft. Done! Now we need to remove these tiny air bubbles. We'll use a blow dryer to do that. the storyline of my future movie. Yeah, got something interesting? I'll be happy to hear your idea. Yes! I've come up with an extra twisted storyline. The shark is approaching the duck, and then the aliens appear and save our life! <laughs> oh, that's rather hard to shoot, Sammy. We'll use special effects. Hmm. By the way, the first special effects in movies were miniatures, like this very diorama we're making. It was invented back in 1902. Can you believe that? And we're still using this technology in 2020. Carefully bend the masking tape this way. I also know you've mastered all those YouTube technologies. And you can hit the button and give a thumbs up really fast. Let's strengthen the mold with some more hot glue. Phew! Check out the vapor! It's becoming hot. Don't forget to glue the side parts of the mold, too. This way, the epoxy resin won't leak. For the next step, we need Vaseline again. It will prevent the epoxy from sticking to the mold. I finished making the mold. Now I'm going to prepare our main movie star. No, not Sammy. <laughs> Here comes the most interesting part. Lights, camera, action! The shark scene. <laughs> I've 
already drilled a hole in our toy shark. Now I'm putting this wooden stick through it. Sammy, can you bring me epoxy resin and blue dye while I'm preparing our actress? Blue like the deep blue sea? Exactly, like the sea where a scary shark is hiding. Is this enough? Enough for now. What about the dye? I remember. Here you are. Thanks. Oh, by the way, how's it going with the screenplay? I got it all figured out. The aliens saved the duck, and it goes to their planet with them. Wow, go on. And then it turns out to be a planet of sharks. Whoa. But they're friendly, and they don't understand the sharks from the Earth who hunt ducks. I don't know how to end this story. Oh, but that's what you should have started with. The ending is a very important part of the movie, so think carefully, Sammy. We need to wait four hours before pouring the next layer. Our shark is going deeper and deeper. Classic. Let's wait four more hours. Glug, glug, glug. We're diving into the ocean of the epoxy. I could watch the resin pouring out forever. Oh, it's relaxing somehow. <laughs> Do you agree, guys? next layer darker than the previous one. This way we can create the illusion of depth. I finally came up with an idea for the ending! Very interesting. I'm all years. The duck comes back to Earth and warns everyone that there's an alien megalodon living in the sea. People don't believe it, but one mermaid does. She wants to stop megalodon! <laughs> Sammy, it's already a whole series! <laughs> series? Susie, that's awesome! I'm gonna make a TV series! Oh no, I guess I just placed a new genius idea into Sam's head. <laughs> but while he's taken with it, I can finish the craft in peace. Be very careful with this next step, guys. Ask an adult to help you. While you can subscribe and hit the bell. This way our new videos will fly directly into your gadget. Wow, check this out! Beautiful, right? Give a thumbs up! Sue, I think we need some gloss. I agree. Let's add some polish. Guys, it's better to work with varnish in a well-ventilated space or even outside. Here's the second character. Hmm, I've got a better idea. Let's add a surfer on the waves. What the heck? I'll have to modify the whole script. Well, maybe the aliens can save this guy from the jaws of the megalodon too. Uh, interesting. And voila! Our star is all dressed up, ready for shooting. Let's glue it to our filming location. Sammy, get the cam! I've got everything ready! And action! If you liked our craft, give a thumbs up!